I thought it might be time for another video of this uh, second generation Otto and Langvin model I've been working on, golly, for about half a year. Um, so it's all together now, with the exception of the governor and the ignition circuit. I haven't, haven't built that yet, so it will not run quite yet. But I thought I might, now that I have it all together and all the mechanics seem to be working pretty well, I thought I might give you a preview of this. So if I, if I turn it backwards, of course, it lifts the rack and the piston. And then if we let it run forward, it'll coast. And as soon as the piston drops to the bottom, um, it's, it'll cycle around. And if I hold the piston up, it will just coast. And if I let the piston drop to the bottom of the cylinder, once again, it cycles. So um, I'll show you a close-up view, maybe, of what's going on with the ratchet and the ball there. All right. Uh, well... Well, I'll try and show you what's happening with the mechanics of this engine. I'm, I almost need three hands, so it's <laughs> one to hold the camera and, and two to operate the engine, but we'll see what, what happens here. So I'm going to start turning the engine over by hand, and uh, this is the ratchet and the pole mechanism right here, and right now they're, they're um, engaged, and because they're engaged, it's carrying this um, um, the eccentric mechanism around with it. And so, um, of course, the piston's going to be at the bottom of the cylinder before I come all the way around. So it will just miss disengage. It'll just stay engaged and go around again. Let me pull it through um, fast enough that it can coast, and I'll see if I can grab the piston before it drops to the bottom of the cylinder. And if I can do that, you should see the uh, this rack and pole mechanism here disengage. So let's see what happens. Oh, there we go. Okay. So, um, I don't know if you saw that or not. What you, what you should be looking at is right here, um, this, this mechanism, um, is lifted up. And so it, it keeps the pole and the ratchet from engaging. But when the piston drops to the bottom of the cylinder, then it, uh, it drops and allows it to, to, um, engage. Let me see if I can do that again. Okay, and now let go, and boom, there we go. Not quite enough oomph to get all the way around again. There we go. Right. So, maybe you can see what's going on, I don't know. Um, some of the other things going on, here's the slide valve. As you can see, it's operating. It's being operated by, the, by its own eccentric right here. Um, this is the lift eccentric, this is the valve eccentric. The two are 90 degrees apart. Um, uh, so that's that's kind of sort of uh, the magic of this thing, if you could say it has magic. I don't know. At any rate, um, hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, maybe I'll have it running soon, and we'll see, huh?